hi guys welcome to my kitchen and welcome back to the ramadan vlog this might actually be the first video of the ramadan vlog i'm not sure but today's video is going to be a haul today is ramadan day four and i am just getting to, into the swing of things so i have just done my grocery shopping today and i wanted to do like a haul because i realized that i've never done like a grocery shopping haul i think once but like that's been a long time ago but i need to do like an updated version also i feel like this might be helpful for people who probably live in manchester want to buy something or are curious what do you buy or things like that but let's do a ramadan haul also most of the things i bought are inspired by my ramadan meal plan which i'm going to link in the description box you can buy yours i bought mine and I absolutely love it because it's very detailed. It has like the grocery list, it has the recipes, it has the 30 day meal plan. Yeah, including drinks. So yeah, that's why I'm doing this Ramadan. So we're gonna start off very fast because I still have to make it thaw. So we're gonna start off very fast with um, the protein. Um, also, welcome back to my tiny kitchen that you guys only see mainly in Ramadan. So the first thing we have here is the pulvera. Um, can you see here? This is the Pulvera Gizad. And it's just like chunks of Gizad. It's a lot of, you can see that it's quite big. So it's a lot of Gizad. I mostly buy this because I like to, I would like to put it in something like um, Ayamashe or when I'm doing things that have assorted. So to just have like chunks of different things so that with every muscle you take, you're just eating something. I'll also be using it for my seafood. So that's one. Um, the next thing is, smoked mackerel on titles let me bring it out and show you guys yeah this delicious baby oops so um all most of the things i bought are addies and then i also went to most of the superstore in case um you're wondering where i shop from but yeah i only got two of these so this i particularly use for um stew so i use this for fish stew um sometimes when i'm eating yam or also when i just want like a nice fish stew to go with rice that's the one i use then i also bought this one i think i bought this one for the first time what's this called i don't know how to pronounce it but i think it's called pang pangesio steak but like this is fish so i want to i normally buy the mackerel the long one i have to cut but i realized that it takes me so long to eat it because I don't want to do the cutting process because it's stressful. So I decided to buy the ones that are already cut that I could eat. And I've not tried this one before so I'm like, okay, let me just buy this and try it. It's quite big. So I got two of those. So this is strictly what we're eating this Ramadan. Then I also, I think this is the one I'm most excited about. This is the mild, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but like it's a frozen seafood mix. This is what it looks like. He has calamari, he has squid, he has prawns. Let me see what else is in here. He has monkfish. What else is in here? Yeah, but like this is what I'm cooking today. We're making seafood okra. I'm not sure if you get that part in the vlog, but I'm sure you the finished look. But we're making seafood okra. And I feel like this should come in handy in anybody's freezer if you like want to do seafood and you don't want to like be buying separate things you just have one you know that when i open the seafood we're done right then we just have more seafood obviously so this is just um just some prawns that we got in that category um so more on protein so i also have this this is drumsticks guys it's a big bag of drumsticks. This is normally what we buy like monthly, day in, day out. Most of them actually, but like this drumstick, I like to buy this big size because it lasts me long. Also when I'm cooking, I cook it like in batch so that I don't really prep my meal, but I like to cook it in batch so that when I want to make jollof, I have like a good amount of stock. So that's what I buy. I do not buy the, pul I do not buy the pulvera because it's pulvera chicken so i do not buy that one this one gets soft easily uh, and that's what i like so if you like chicken that the hard one that doesn't get soft easily you might need to buy the pulvera one but if you want soft chicken that just everything just busts open with your fuck then you should buy this one then i also bought turkey obsessed with turkey i absolutely hate the smell of boiling turkey but 
it's an essential we have a timetable we're working with and i don't want to mess anything up so in here i have hmm, so i have goat meat this is freshly cut goat meat i'm going to show you just it snake here so this is freshly cut goat meat i'm just going to raise this and pack it up in the freezer and here i also have tripe that's the english name <coughs> oh god this it stinks so this is shaki obviously if it doesn't stink it's not gonna be sweet <coughs> moving on to veggies guys i do not cook vegetable let me not try to be like i do not cook vegetable like maybe one once in a year <coughs> or to, i say twice twice a year i cook vegetable so i'm not really a vegetable babe but because i want to strictly follow my ramadan meal plan because i don't want repetitive meals and i just want us to eat really well this ramadan i bought vegetables so i bought ugu so these are ugu leaves i got this one from mostin and then i also got what's this oh this is actually ugu leaves as well but this is from Ades. so i just had really nice one but the other ones were like super ugly so i had to go to mostin to get extra one then i also got shoko here i don't know if there's an english name for this but like I got a for shoko. I got two of these as well, just to have variety and make. Cause I'm going to make one with egusi and one without egusi. I feel like the shoko might be nice without. Egg. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a learner in this area. Then for wraps, we got this sweet salad leaf. This one is just from Aldi. Just a mix. So when when I want to do wraps and stuff, it's just like easier, much more easier for me. This is what I use when I'm doing my shawarma. I just add tomatoes and like a few other things to it like the chicken and whatever but like this is the mix i normally use then i also got baby spinach right so this is actually for smoothies this is mainly for smoothies but um, i also put some of it in my like other vegetable thing that i'm doing then we have okra this minced okra is always from Ades. they have like this is what i eat and that's why i'm cooking this night so yeah it's always a win so now okay finally we have cucumber this is also for our drinks so we're making infused water this ramana we're going all out all out so well i think i have a free fruit here so i just have two avocados we are i think we're gonna have like toast two times the entire month so avocado toast so we have this because i normally use half i don't use this half so we don't need any more than that then um we've got grapes we've got strawberries we also have apples um is it only me but like i didn't used to eat apples before right because i just didn't vibe with it and then suddenly i started eating the red apples and i can't stop eating apples now then we also have this mixed veggies like the standard mixed veggies um this is for fried rice because i think i'm making fried rice twice this entire month so shout out to her she's gonna be my helper then this is probably like the last thing we have okay so this is um corn abdul this is sweet corn abdul makes the best the yummiest corn you guys are going to see what he makes i'm going to like <laughs> i'm going to vlog it in another vlog but like we got this corn we would probably have this for iftar as like a side dish or maybe when i'm hosting i don't know yet but like that's the plan for that finally we have sweet potato okay irish potatoes this one because i like to when i when i'm doing my chips i do not like to buy the frozen ones i like to cut it myself and fry i feel like it, feel, it tastes better it feels more fresh also i have never made uh, mashed potatoes myself so i'm going to actually try with this then i think the last thing i have is sweet potatoes I'm going to just show you guys one of it just like you know what it looks like but like the plan for this is to make um porridge is it porridge no it's to make pottage yam pottage so i have yam as well so but like, i like to make my yam pottage with um sweet potatoes so i'll mix both and just 
it's just so nice and for yam cottage because i'm talking about it I'll, I'll also be using this this is shower fillet so i'll be using this to cook as well and i have plantain so that's like all veggies done also the next thing i have we also got this um bread for yeah for shawarma my brain god so we got tortilla wraps for shawarma and you guys do you know like for weeks i would go i go like i go to the store trying to find no cube and it would be like i'm looking for gold because i just won't find it so when i saw it i bought two of these it wasn't even in addis i got these in most so if you've got to addis and you did not find it very the most then i think that's all with the all the food food okay yeah look what i found so i found this moi moi mix in addis i've not tried it before like at all i'm going to try it. I, I don't know how this is gonna taste i'm mainly trying this because i got a new blender the ninja blender the one that everybody's obsessed with for like months now and i haven't used it for some reason especially known to me and I, i'm not ready to break it yet because i'm waiting for something to happen but so i bought this if this doesn't taste nice i might be forced to actually use my blender but i really really want to try this it looks good then for swallow because we have swallow a few times um this month so we have um pounded yam this is addis pounded yam that we have here we also have yam flour let me just say i have never ever made amala since i moved to manchester and during the course of my life i probably made it not more than five times like my entire life so and i i don't buy it i've never bought it in my life so for me to buy this i am very very serious to buy amala i have big video that my mom made for me when she came over my freezer i'm gonna buy a way to but I don't, I don't want to buy it because you know how the way to leaves behave so i will wait for the day that i need to cook it and buy the way to leaves and then we're gonna make amala wiggly wig and the way to um what else is here so i just got this no i think it's called no pot stock cubes oh i thought i was buying something else i thought i was buying that pot thing rubbish so i got the fish one i got the chicken one and i also got the beef one anyways that's a waste and i got aromat and oh i got salad seasoning i've never tried salad seasoning before i think we have salad twice on our um timetable so i want to see what this would do to the salad because i mean like it's normally plain we also have honey for some of our drinks because i'll be making the drinks too i'm serious greek yogurt to marinate the chicken then also some more yogurt because we're gonna make smoothies then double cream this is going to be the second time or third time actually that i cook with double cream i don't normally eat creamy or cheesy things i really do not like them but i'm being dedicated to this and the last time i made it it was nice so i'm like okay let's just do it again then i also got coconut milk one of these we're gonna use to for our pina colada that i'm making today and the other one i'll use it when i'm making like coconut rice because that's also on our list i feel like this trouble is like are, are you here to eat um we also have bread crumbs guys if you know how much i have suffered with breadcrumbs you would actually be very grateful that i found this one so like i love to make like all this very crispy crunchy chicken right and i only like one breadcrumb which is the panko breadcrumbs but i haven't been able to find it I go to aldi it's not there I go to this is not there but then abdul told me that he saw one breadcrumb breadcrumbs in aldi but i'm not sure it's the same one i have but i was already out so we had to just buy this one in case we don't find what we normally have we're just gonna have this yeah so we're cooking this ramadan period um then the last thing is rice i don't want to carry the rice but i have to show you this rice because for the first time ever we bought the wrong basmati rice um 
because we didn't find the one that we normally buy and it was not easy getting used to that the first jollof i made was almost a flop because of the rice so like the rice you make your jollof with or whatever is very important so i'm going to show you the rice the basmati rice that i use and i swear by i cook jollof with it i cook fried rice with it it's long grain it's absolutely beautiful there's no mushy mushiness going on only youtube is going to make me carry 10 kg rice to show you but like yeah um the last two things we got is this a roll this one is already cooked from Adis. i just picked this one up for a lazy day that i need to eat swallow this would come in handy or maybe i just want to eat rice then afri mold i bought a couple of these i don't know i haven't been taking juice as much since i became a water babe but i was just really craving afri mold so i got like four of these I am so drained from that little haul but anyways guys um i'm gonna clear this mess that i made up and start cooking with iftar and yeah that's it for this video this video is just a what i got for ramadan or groceries i got for ramadan haul and i will just show you the finished look of my okra so stay tuned for that one